Hello there, adventurers, and welcome to Wally DM. Today I'm joined by a few of my friends, and we are going to do a live play of a puzzle video that has just been released on my channel. Well, in real time anyway, at the time we're playing this, it has not been released yet. So what we're going to do is do what I'm going to call a half-shot adventure, which is we're going to do a small dungeon crawl, and this will be called the Chamber of Timora. Hello there, adventurers, and welcome to Wally DM. Today, our players have access to the secret underground of a hotel casino, and they need to pick a card in order to access the Chamber of Timora. So, the Chamber of Timora. Timora is the goddess of luck and we are in a hotel casino so this is not a map drawn to scale uh, some of these rooms I may have on the first floor some on the you know second some down in the uh, underground underneath but for the purpose of this video I've uh, just included them all together now our main puzzle room will be right here and here is our sealed door that leads into the Chamber of Timora. And beyond this, maybe um, as far as a reward for solving the puzzle, maybe an item that the party is looking for, maybe a person that the party is looking for, or maybe we don't even go with the door. If they solve the puzzle correctly, uh, they are granted with luck. And maybe for like a, a, a day or a week's worth of luck and are able to um, have advantage on certain roles and things of that nature uh, whatever you decide as a DM but this is our main puzzle room and we're gonna kind of imagine like a poker or a dealer table over here and uh, behind that is either going to be a um, a ghost-like figure or an actual disciple of Timora um, maybe one that is relieved of duty every uh, eight hours or, or something like that. But this is going to be our card dealer. And what she's going to do is she's going to spread a 52 card deck across the table and ask uh, and uh, tell the adventurers if they would like to um, access the chamber of Timora or if we're going with the luck scenario, if they would like to be blessed by Timora, then they must pick the correct four cards. Now, if the players pick one of the incorrect cards, uh, we will have some kind of a trap or uh, something happen. Maybe the card flies off the table and explodes, uh, dealing damage. Um, maybe it, it uh, produces a chain lightning effect. Maybe um, it produces a polymorph effect or something like that. So the players do not want to choose the wrong card. So what four cards do they choose? Well, we've got four different rooms set up for this uh, puzzle um, throughout the uh, game night here. Uh, so we'll go through them one by one. We'll start on this side and we're going to come into the lounge or sitting room. In the lounge or sitting room, there's going to be, uh, it's going to be very comfortable in here, very clean, uh, very cozy and uh, the players can sit and relax. Maybe there's a uh, few NPC characters that are hanging out in here, uh, but there will be one noticeable item and hanging on the wall in this lounge or sitting room will be a clock. And this clock only has one hand on it. Um, if you want to describe it as the other hand's broken off or what have you, you can. And the clock appears to be ticking, but uh, kind of just ticking in place and just keeps staying like this pointed at the nine. Now, if you look closely at the handle or the uh, hand of the clock, you may see what resembles a spade. So one of the clues is this handle in the shape of a spade pointing to a nine. Now, if our adventures come into this room, this is an old casino room. And I realized that slot machines were not around in the medieval times, but I think it would be cool to put an old time slot machine in here, something that the players have never seen before. And uh, it's got the, uh, um, you know, just the, uh, the three rows. It's got the uh, crank handle and maybe even a slot where it says one silver piece or one, you know, one SP or one GP for a gold piece. 
about what the players need to do and there's nothing wrong with this slot machine it, but it will only activate once and once they pull the handle and it will uh, actually hit like a jackpot or two cherries and whatever or whatever you decide as a DM that would be fun for the players uh, probably the jackpot would be good and it will spit out a coin that looks like this now this coin is actually the symbol of the goddess or lady luck Timora and if you look at the coin closely you'll see that there are six shamrocks or clubs on the coin the next clue room for our party is this sealed chamber over here and they may need to pick a lock or uh, find a key or bash the door down and this might have been like a prison room for, for cheaters or things like that. And uh, in fact, there may have been somebody that was thrown down here that was forgotten about. Because as they come in here, there will be one undead creature, uh, probably a skeleton. But you can uh, crank up the heat on that if you need to. And this skeleton or undead creature is wearing a very bright and shiny crown. And on this crown, embedded in the crown, it, uh, I would probably explain to the players that it is, a, you know, it is very dull and rusty looking and stuff like that, with the exception of three very bright gems in the in the crown. And once they defeat the skeleton and take a closer look at it, they'll see that it is embedded with three diamonds. So now we have the clue three of diamonds our final room is a library or study and one book in particular is going to uh, get the players attention and if they look through this book this book is going to be entitled the suicide king and if the players inspect it they'll see that it is a book about King Charles who uh, had a very uh, uh, troubled life and maybe um, it, this is a story of love or things of that nature and that King Charles ended up killing himself well in uh, playing cards if you're familiar with the Suicide King the King of Hearts on most modern decks you can't really see it on this old-time deck that I have but um, in most modern decks you can see where the King is sticking his sword into the side of his head well it's probably going behind his head but the king of hearts has been long called the suicide king because it looks like the sword is going through his head now if you'd like to offer a different clue the king of hearts is also the only king um, out of the four kings in a 52 card deck of cards that does not have a mustache so our final clue that the players are going to need is the king of hearts so once they've gotten all four clues and they travel back into this chamber or this room here they can pull from the deck of cards presented to them by the disciple of Timora and choose the king of hearts the three of diamonds the six of clubs and the nine of spades and Timora will either bless them with luck or open the door to the chamber and let them continue on with their adventure. So that was the Chamber of Timora. That would be probably fairly lenient as far as the clues go, especially with regards to the clock, because even though the handle is pointing at the nine and the handle itself is a spade, the players may think that that is the ace of spades because there's just the one spade on the handle, or they could pick nine of spades. So be sure if you're running this puzzle to be a little bit lenient and if you kind of question how the players come up with that answer, just ask them and make a judgment call from there. So what happens if the players pick the wrong card or try to pick up several cards at once? Let's say they pick up the Jack of Diamonds. I would probably have that card explode or poof out of their hand and some kind of effect is going to happen to them or their party. We could do a chain lightning effect where the bolt goes from the the card through that person and through a few other people within range. Maybe they are polymorphed into something. Maybe they are teleported somewhere. Or perhaps we just have a big fireball just blow up a good portion or a 20 foot, uh, a 20 foot radius of the area. So something like that. So our players are gonna want to be 
very, very cautious as to what cards they're picking and to probably be sure that they have all the clues. And of course, if you need to print out the clock or the coin of Timora, the links for those are in the description below. And I'm actually hosting them on my new website, walladm.com. So be sure to print those out and give them to your players so they can look at. So that's all I have for you today. What did you think of the puzzle? Are there some better clues that we could give to help our players get it right? Would you pick a different card than the four cards that I selected? Make sure you leave a comment below. I really appreciate you hanging out and watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, on to the next.